Hi, this is Dr. Ray Tahiri, and welcome to another SolidWorks screencast. Uh, today, I would like to talk about a very interesting feature in SolidWorks: uh, subtract and combine. And this is in particular interest of those who design molds. Let me just go and create a very simple geometry, uh, just kind of like a piston type of shape. And I do it just out of the schematic, so I don't do much of the dimensions here, just for the sake of argument. Uh, we'll just make a line so from here. Uh, shape like this here is a very basic shape. Uh, let me just make a little bit modification here. Just want to give uh, this I give it a two millimeter, and so as this distance to be a two millimeter, just two millimeter, and assuming the rest is okay. Uh, Maybe also give a little bit more, uh, a little further down here. Okay, this is good. And the next thing I would like to do is uh, I do a simple revolve. And here is my piston being made uh, with all the curvatures here. Let me just make a couple of other uh, simple. Uh, features here go to reference geometry. Uh, reference geometry is a very useful feature in SolidWorks to create a different plane. So I want to make a plane uh, here for geometry and I make a distance of make it 25 here. Uh, let's go make on this plane, uh, make a circle here, and right from the center here to here, just to give the 20, and another one here. And now I do an extrude here. Extrude. And I go to the body. And here is the body. Uh, the opposite side. Okay. And then here, do an extrude cut. And select. And I want to make exactly the same thing on the other side, so I need another uh, reference geometry. Actually, I have a front plane right here, and that's good. So I 
go and mirror that on the other side. So I use mirror function, and the feature I want to mirror is both extrude and extrude cuts. So here what I have, uh, rather again simple geometry. Now, if you want to create this geometry, uh, if you want to manufacture that, there are different manufacturing uh, processes. So you can perhaps machine it, CNC it. But the easiest way to cast is, especially when you want to uh, have plenty of these in the large scale mass production of these pistons. Now, if you want to cast this, of course, you have to have a mold. That the mold is uh, comprised of a cavity of these shapes. So you want to have the negative of these built inside the mold. And that uh, is difficult in then software. But in SolidWorks, we made it very easy. Let me see what I do here. I uh, simply go here in this uh, plane. I want to create, copy this here. I go and I make uh, a simple construction lines. And then I go to insert, feature, copy. Uh, I want to uh, copy this geometry. Maybe, maybe, seven of them. I want to have an eight cylinder uh, piston. And then, I increase this here to uh, enough distance, something like this, 120. So you can see that I made already eight of them. So there are eight pistons made. And the next thing I do, which is interesting here, in order to make uh, the mold, I go again in this surface here. Uh, so I go and uh, make a sketch. And my sketch would be uh, simply a rectangular shape it goes in this, something like this. The next action would be I will uh, extrude this and extrude the, the other side. And one thing you have to be careful is in here you have merge result. So I don't want to merge the result. I unselect that and then I do a blind here. So I created this geometry. So this this block holds uh, this eight pistons. Uh, let me go and change the transparency, but you can see all these blocks inside. And now here is a single feature can accommodate what I want in terms of creating this uh, mold. Insert feature combine, and I use subtract. And now for subtracting. Uh, I choose this as my uh, main and then I select the rest as my body to be combined, in this case to be extract. And pressing enter, uh, that does it all. So let me go to uh, changing transparency and you can see it here. Uh, one thing also, uh, I always prefer to increase uh, the image quality, maybe a little bit more. Be careful about that. If you go to the red, it's going to be uh, much slower. Uh, if you look at this here, so this block includes the cavities of those eight cylinder, And the best way to look at them is when you look at the side uh, sectioning. And you can see that here, this is the cavities. From here you start, build, finishes, and closes. So here what uh, we have, we created uh, uh, literally a mold. But of course in real life, uh, if you're pouring it, so you have to have an entrance for molten metal, and then you connect them all together, and maybe from one or two sides can but in this case, if you pour the molten metal here directly, uh, then this is going to be casted. So you do eight of them separately uh, in order to create those eight uh, pistons. Anyway, so uh, this is 
uh, what I have to say for this screencast. Try to use uh, subtract, combine, and common. These are very interesting features in SolidWorks. Thank you very much.